everybody. Um, another week's gone by and uh, got a lot of work done this week. So um, it's been uh, very productive and I'm super happy with the results. Um, I thought I'd start by saying that uh, I miss all of you so much. Um, I talk to most all of you uh, uh, every week and I'm super happy that uh, we've stayed connected. So, and I appreciate you watching these videos. Uh, they're a lot of fun to make and uh, I'm having a great time, you know, uh, working on this house. So anyway, I thought I'd start here in the front yard because a couple of weeks ago I was on the roof and uh, taking all those shingles off and powered out the next day to get it waterproofed and got a fascia on and um, so I'll turn the camera around. I don't know how well you're gonna see here, but um, so that's just a peel and stick like ice and water um, that really just goes on the eaves and the and the uh, the edges of the roof, but it's holding up really well and will suffice until I can actually get the roof done. Um, the porch is now in just a functional uh, state. Um, you know, the deck boards are kind of rotted, but you know, I put the new footing in over here and I uh, rebuilt the, um, the eave over there on the left side and got the waterproofing done up top and I'm down to like two minor tiny little drips which are almost nothing um because trying to tie that stuff into those shingles up there it's like you know trying to tie into like you know 200 year old paper it's just ridiculous those things just flake off um the nails don't but the the shingles do so Anyway, I did uh, clean out under here. I got a piece of wood I got to pull out there. Um, and, you know, this place has been kind of a treasure trove. Um, you know, between the artwork and some of the old tools that I found. Um, so, digging up under here the other day, because I was, um, there was some trash in there, I found all these glass bottles. And I had found a couple of glass bottles previously. And I don't know, maybe they were lying around the deck area. I really don't remember exactly. But um, I was digging under the leaves under there and I found, let me turn the light on, a glass bottle. And then I found another one, and then another one, and another one, and another one, and I couldn't believe it. So look at all these old glass bottles and they're pretty freaking cool. So. This is like an old half gallon, I don't know, like a milk bottle maybe from way back in the day. And, and this thing here, look at the, the, like the etching or beveling that's on here. I don't know, I'm not in for, you know, collecting things, but I thought cleaning them up and, you know, displaying them, you know, on some open shelves or something when I eventually sell the house, which, at this point, I don't really feel that confident about, uh, so I may be living here for a while. Um, but anyway, I kept them. Vinny, if you want them, I would be happy to give them to you um, if anybody's interested. So anyway, uh, let's go inside because it's kind of cold out. It was actually just, I mean, the sun is sort of shining now, but it was just um, snow flurrying just a minute ago. Okay, so a lot of things done this week. So before I show you this kitchen view here, uh, let's just go over to my list and so I can remember everything that I did this week. Footings, remove concrete, shoring, went to the dump, and uh, did a lot of framing just mark that off. I love marking things off of the list. Love it. Okay. So first thing I did was install these three long, they're exactly 20 feet. I didn't even have to cut them actually. Uh, they span from the front of the house up to this point right here. Um, onto a new sister two by 10. I've got metal hardware, it's missing hardware right there. I haven't installed it yet. Um, and flushed this out 
right here. So this drywall will just continue here, which I think will look really nice. But the big thing is I'm considering leaving this wall out. All the plumbing was coming down through it, the, 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 the stack, and which is the, the sewage, and uh, the copper pipes. But anyway, I'm considering actually just running the kitchen counter to right here. And so it eliminates one of the cabinets that I would be putting in the kitchen. And I put in a new railing here and maybe take out the old railing and, and make them the same. Um, of course, I would, I'll make them the same. And I don't know. I, I, I think it's really cool. It, it, it's completely open concept. So the whole first floor, which I know is a very small house, is just one kind of giant room, which I think is pretty cool. So I don't know. If you have any feedback on that, if you think that's weird, otherwise wall will go back in right here and this will be the kitchen where we're standing here and um, that'll be that. But I think it'll be pretty awesome. So we'll see. Um, while I was taking this wall out, I found another little treasure. I, I think they were using this to build the stairs. This thing is really slick. Look at these little brass hinges on here. And this thing is very old, and but machined like really well. These little brass hinges, I don't know. Anyway, I love finding little things like that. Um, and so I'll put that in a little collection of old tools that I found on this job, along with the artwork and the glass bottles. Um, so what else? Okay, so I replaced the subfloor here finally. This was all rotted out here at this corner. I think this bathroom up here uh, was just leaking all the time. Um, you can see the drywall there is really bad, so that'll, uh, that'll get replaced. Um, but it's solid now, which uh, just feels so good. Um, and in that process, I widened the stairs. And just finished building these uh, stairs today. Um, the old stairs had a landing that came out to that post right there. And so it didn't, the stairs didn't even start until this point. And they were so steep, uh, you know, you would literally hit your head up here. Um, it was, the clearance was terrible. So I had to rebuild these stairs. Now we've got nice long treads and a comfortable slope. Uh, I'm absolutely thrilled with this. This was actually a lot of fun. Um, and then I even, uh, I cut back um, these little short joists here and capped this uh, on a slope again so you don't hit your head. Um, but replacing, you know, this joist here, I had to rewire uh, all of these, which took some time. Um, but I'm back to, you know, uh, one light on each floor, which is actually very nice with switches that are in good locations. Um, rough electrical will start here pretty soon, but um, um, I was super happy to have, you know, light switches and things like that. So also down here, I poured new post footing here to hold up that beam there, which got cut out for the new stairs. Um, that's where the landing actually came across here. And oh, new footing over here, because I'm gonna again get my bottle jack out. I've been jacking up like all the framing when I'm working on it because the house is just sort of all over the place. and you know, trying to get that ceiling upstairs all to be completely one level. Um, the house has just sagged over the 107 years that, uh, since it's been built. So, um, anyway, uh, that's about it. Um, I did a little more plumbing and I am just so happy about these stairs. These stairs are going to make me so, so happy because I have to come down here all the time because that's the only toilet I have for right now. I'm still several weeks away, I think, from having a, my toilet put in upstairs. So um, I do have a good friend, Marco, who's going to stop by here and help me 
do uh, some rough plumbing, which will be uh, which will be great. I really appreciate it. So that's it. I just wanted to update everybody. Uh, I hope everybody had a great week. I hope everybody's next week goes well. We're still in this corona crisis. Uh, I can't wait to get out and socialize. Um, you know, I've been meeting all my neighbors because I go and hang out on the porch and have coffee in the morning and and take breaks out there. And I've gotten to know uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven neighbors uh, so far. And um, one even brought me dinner last night, which was really yummy. And um, so anyway, uh, love all of you, miss all of you. Uh, let me know um, if you have any feedback at all about this sort of kitchen idea that I have um, of leaving that sort of open. I don't know if you're going to be able to tell on the video, um, but yeah. Anyway, let me know. All right. Be well. Take care. Bye.